Okay, today. For today's lecture, we will have the drawing units in AutoCAD. So, our objective is how to use the different land type in drawing units and how to change it and how to draw a line using that different units. Okay, in AutoCAD, we have five land types. Those are the architectural, the decimal, the engineering, fractional, and scientific. As an example, I have here the same length of a line but different length type. Those are the 2 feet dash 1 and 1 8 inches. In decimal, that is 25.1. In engineering, that is 2 feet dash 1.1 inches. Engineering and architectural are almost the same but except in engineering, the feet is in decimal system while in architectural, it is a fractional system. Then of course, you have number 4 which is a fractional that is 25 and 1 8. That is almost the same with decimal but instead of using decimal system, you have a fractional part. Then last, you have the scientific notation which is 2.51 and you have your E plus 0, 01. That is the same with times 10 raised to 1. Okay, so how are you going to change it and how you will going to type it in your command line? The first step on how to change your unit is to type units on your command line. Then a dialog box will going to appear and you can now change your line type here. Okay, so once you click the down arrow, you can access the different land type. And those are the five, architectural, decimal, engineering, fractionals, and scientific. So let's uh, draw first using the default of the AutoCAD, which is the decimal. Then we press OK. okay so we're going to replicate this one. Same with 25.1. So that is line, enter. Then click your first endpoint. Then simply type 25.1. So you know that already. Okay, so let's cancel the line command. Then now we're going to try this given, which is 2 feet dash 1 and 1 8 inches. So again, you have to type your units since we're going to change it to architectural. Then click at the land type, the architectural unit. Automatically, you can. Uh, Change this to inches or AutoCAD will go into change it to inches. Okay, so let's change it directly to inches, then press OK. Then again, uh, same command for line. You will go into type first L for line, enter, first endpoint, then your projections or your angle. So instead of typing 25.1, you'll go into type this step. That is 2 feet. Single quote is stand for fit then dash one dash one over eight then double quote stand four inches then press enter okay this is now your line in architectural unit for engineering unit it is almost the same with the architectural unit but instead of using fraction part you're going to use decimal system so again you can type units to change the land type. So you have here engineering, then press OK. Then first line, first step in creating a line. L, enter, first endpoint, then type your distance, which is two feet again. So that is single quote, dash 1.1. Then do not forget the double quote, which stand for inches then press enter okay so that is now your your engineering land type then for fractional again we're going to change the unit to fractional so you have here the land type fractional then press ok again same method in creating a line l enter click for the endpoint then type this one 25 dash 1 slash 8 then press enter okay so that is how you use the fractional then we disconnect the line then for the, uh, for the last 
length type. Again, we retype the units and we access scientific. Then press OK. Same method, L, enter. Then click for the first endpoint. Then this is the step on how to type for scientific. That is 2.51, then E01. It is not case sensitive. You can use lowercase or uppercase. Okay, then press enter. Then now you will have the different entry method for the different length type. But if you can see, those are the same dimensions. Okay, for changing the dimensions, we will have a separate topic for that. Okay, so I hope you learned something from here. Thank you and good day.